this was my first full year on tour, 1985. I had him in the first round. I came up against him and lacking out. And, um, you know, he had a French wife and it, it, yeah, there was all kinds of excitement around him. And, you know, he was the man, all that stuff. And, pour chaque matin d'été sur le sable de Biarritz, ce n'est pas pour trouver son souffle de batteur. S'il sillonne 10 mois sur 12 la planète, ce n'est pas non plus en qualité de rockstar international. La spécialité de ce jeune Californien, c'est ça. Le surf au top niveau. À 22 ans, Tom Curren est le champion du monde professionnel en titre. La superstar absolue du surf de Sydney à Honolulu. Je commençais à faire du surf quand j'avais 6 ans, en Hawaï. On était là pour les, pour les vacances. Et euh, je commençais tout de suite euh, à Hollywood. Hein. Yeah, so, so the story um, is, I think it starts right here because I don't think Derek Hind had seen me surf, really. Uh, maybe he'd seen me surf, but not to this extent. So, like, I went out in this heat and I just smashed Tommy for the first, you know, 17 minutes of a heat uh, or, or whatever. I, I, I smashed him for the first um, three quarters of the heat. I was, like, way ahead. And I was... And I, in my mind, I was like, oh, piece of cake. <laughs> I mean, he, I was just so stoked to not be at school and be in France with all these like naked chicks. And just fuck, I was just like, just like, this is the best life ever. So I was pissed off my loss, but I was like, I was kind of still in the, you know, babe in the woods kind of like, oh, like thing. And I remember looking at uh, Derek and Derek was just shaking, looking at me. I, I don't know if it was like, I don't think it was when I came in from the heat. I think it was later that night at, the, at, a, at a bar and when, and like everybody's out drinking and he just looked at me and went like, shake his head and just was like, fuck, you need a coach so bad. You know, like in a way of saying like, you, you're, you're the only one that fucking had this guy. And like, this guy was stressing out like, against you. And he's been waltzing through everybody here. And you, <laughs> you, and you have him stressed like I'd never seen before. Does he get nervous? He seems to be so cool, calm, and collected before and after each heat. Now, Tom can get real nervous at times, uh, depending on who he has to surf against. deal with Brad early in the in the rounds practically every event I've surfed in so that's one of the things that's hard for me this year because Brad's a, a great surfer and and I always have to produce the you know the top performance very early so it keeps me on my toes and and uh, I'm sure it's not the last time I'll be, I'll be meeting him from Terry Richardson and from uh, Greg Mungo two separate guys um, and I gotta ask Shane about it, uh, her end, but I, they both said that Derek Hine was on his way to winning the world title. He was the best surfer in the world and he was on his way to winning and it was just, and, and Greg Mungle said, he said he was so arrogant. Um, he was kind of one of those super arrogant guys and he just, he said he, he said he wanted to beat him so fucking bad, but he was so good. And, um, so I, you know, he, if he didn't take his eye out with that, 360 and he was he he has that kind of body that like elastic super elastic -y body and real um with uh, you know a lot of uh, aggression and, and a lot of um progressive really progressive surfer there at the end of the year uh, at the end of the 85 86 year uh, was the australian like, They found these pictures and they found a postcard that I sent to my dad from Bells saying, I qualified, I made the top 30 and fucking yeah, you know, um, <laughs> it's a postcard from, from, from Victoria. And the, that, that leg right there had, the first contest was at the Stubbies at Burley. And the craziest thing was I saw this picture of Derek Hine doing a bottom trick, just a picture. And the way he torqued his body and twisted his body, I just copied it and it worked super fucking good. 
And so I blazed through the trials at the really event and it ended up coming up against pots in the in the in the round before the quarters and the winds went north and I lost and I got ninth but I got ninth from that first event. And if you really think about it, like if you copy the very best, eventually you're gonna have your own outfit. If you and you can copy the best, <laughs> eventually you're gonna you're gonna be really good. In, in, in any in anything. Like if you're copying Jimi Hendrix and you're learning to play guitar and you can copy it and you can copy it to the point where it's really good, you can play other things. And you can and if you're creative enough to write your own songs, you're gonna be like like insane. Like Stevie Ray Vaughan copy um, Hendrix. But brought his whole his own shit in it, you know? And so this copying thing, this is totally what I think with Wave Keys. You just you just learn the structure and then you put in your own stuff. You start looking at all this you look at all the servers that you like and all the stuff and you start putting your own bits into it, you know? But this one photo that I saw of Derek, it changed my bottom turn and it made me twist off the bottom and, and it and just oh man, it just I just <laughs> which was one of those I didn't tell him that I saw a picture of him you know like I just didn't get a chance to you know but and then so then the photo that you're seeing is our third meeting and um, and I'm coming up against him and that's in the final of the Foster Surf Masters in, in uh, Newquay, England in uh, August of like 1906 what Derek sees there is that is that um, he said I could he said Tommy's taking me very seriously <laughs> and that that is um, yeah that 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 he knew that you know he he knew that I could I could beat him and um, that I could actually out I could beat him with my surfing not not that I would beat him like by tactics uh, that I could actually get a, a wave and tear it apart and get the score get the higher score because I've already almost you know I've already done it you know like 